saving money is one of the hottest new trends, and some are taking it to extremes. Extreme couponing is taking it to the max, just scouting out coupons, scouting out the best prices, and being super, super organized. Extreme couponing is becoming more and more popular and potentially addictive. I've only been doing it for a short time, I guess. I started a few months ago. I lost my job and I was kind of looking for ways to save money and keep myself busy, I guess, while I was at home and I discovered couponing, so I gave it a try once and was hooked. As soon as I walked out of the store, I think I had about $300 worth of stuff and paid 50 bucks. But before you get out your trusty scissors, there are some things you need to know. I go through a lot of sources for my coupons. Uh, we get newspaper inserts, so I will always scout those out because they're free coupons. So. Bonus, um, we get tons of mail out ones. I'm constantly planning, looking for new coupons. Research, go online, Google it, find blogs and just start reading. Um, get to know the store policies, because that's the biggest thing. Be organized, I would say that's the, the biggest thing too, is there's nothing worse than going into a store and you know you see a sale and you're like, I know I have a coupon somewhere and you spend hours searching through a envelope or something, trying to find them. We use um, baseball card inserts. So when you go through, you can see your coupon, you've got your expiry date, you just pull them out. It's just a good way to keep organized. However, with this new craze, some stores are feeling the pressure to meet the demand. What we're finding, we're getting an increased pressure from our manufacturer partners in, in restricting our, our policies. And a lot of it's going towards uh, some of the extreme or excessive buying patterns that customers are, are having. And, and it's a few of these customers that are doing that. Um, we're, what we're seeing, and I don't think anybody ever intended coupons to be used for someone having a thousand of one item in, in their garage. I think when you abuse it, that ruins it for people who are doing it right. And when you take advantage of it, nobody needs 5,000 toothbrushes in their house. So don't take advantage of a sale when it's out there. Leave some for other people as well. It's doing it responsibly. What we're asking is, is the customers who work with us and, and restricting their quantities that they're buying to more of a household need requirements. Are there? All right. Ready to go? Gotcha. Regardless of changing policies, couponing is here to stay. And while Canadians don't see the same results as our American counterparts, the savings are still there for the taking. We did London Drugs and the total bill should have been about $225 and I spent $42. I, I don't think there's a thing out there that I haven't found a coupon for really. For Shaw TV, I'm Alana Nolan.